So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges for week one. If you guys don't know, I usually do this in the... Oh, I got to poop real quick. So for today, we're going to be looking at the seasonal challenges. If you guys don't know, I usually do these uh, weekly. So that way you can know what the challenges are and whatever versus selling. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe. It really does help. Just be aware that uh, we're going to be pumping out a lot of content today. So first and foremost, we're going to be doing the seasonal mission. The first one, we're going to be looking at the activity review and we're going to be doing the seasonal challenges. So bear with me. I'm going to make a lot of content, but I really want to go hard this season because last season I'm, i kind of have a few regrets that i didn't do videos for so let's actually get into it so for the first one more than a weapon one complete week one of more than a weapon i already completed this as you guys can see it has not activated so this actually might be bugged unfortunately heist battlegrounds one in the heist battlegrounds playlist or legend heist uh battlegrounds open seraph chest and defeat powerful hive combatants so not hard i mean i've already opened a chest and kill some powerful hive although maybe the first story mission technically doesn't count towards this so that's probably it or it's probably just bugged it's most likely bugged uh frozen lightning defeat combatants with stasis or arc damage in battle in heist battlegrounds not hard just use the correct subclass and or weapons and you should be good precision loadout defeat tar targets with bows and linear fusion rifles bonus progress for defeating guardians defeat combatants in heist battlegrounds with precision final blows not hard at all i was doing this literally not too long ago i was actually not even using a bow or a, or a linear fusion rifle but i was using i was still getting headshots and whatnot uh, on the moon earn bonus progress or earn progress by completing bounties patrols public events and lost sectors this is not hard at all uh, i would pro probably go with a combination of the patrols bounties and lost sectors i would probably be rotating those three in and out i would ignore public events because they're really annoying just to wait for if you have one pop up might as well do it but if you are the only one doing it and i me personally i don't like doing lost or public events al alone anymore because they just too much time for what they give you so for me i would probably just be rotating those three taking all challenges complete weekly playlist challenges not hard at all just you can literally do this in three weeks if you want, two weeks, or th within this week. All you have to do is play Gambit, Crucible, and Vanguard. Again, if you don't want to do Gambit, then you can just do uh, Crucible and Vanguard and then wait for the next week to do either Crucible or Vanguard to complete it. Long range calibration, calibrate long range weapon, pulse rifles, bows, trace rifles on the moon, bonus progress in lost sectors. So obviously long range calibration and moon activities are gonna be uh, you can rotate these two because obviously you're just you're just gonna want to use the pulse rifles, bows, tra or or trace rifles. Uh, you could do a pulse rifle pulse rifle on the main or secondary slot, and trace rifle I think is only on the second slot. But this new trace rifle might be a kinetic we don't know or not kinetic but a stasis which stasis is only on kinetic or heavy. And then for the bow you can actually use the heavy bow. That's assuming if you want to just have every slot in this i pros i probably would just have a pulse and trace rifle i wouldn't go that hard but just to let you know dredging up victory complete gambit wins earn bonus progress for wins this is not hard you just have to play gambit i know some people it, that's a lot to ask for some, for some people so we'll see hive slayer defeat hive combatants in vanguard playlists or strikes earn bonus progress for defeating tougher combatants this one's not hard you just have to do the strikes I would probably wait until we get a nightfall that has hype specifically in it so that way you can just kill it there because waiting for the vanguard playlist to pop up one is really annoying although that being said there is a lot of hive uh, strikes in the at least if i remember correctly there's a lot of high strikes uh, spark defenders score points and rift bonus progress is warrior for igniting the rift this seems like a lot of points but again this is going to be super fast especially if you like rift if you don't like rift then unfortunately this might be forever for you uh, so that's pretty much it. I'm really excited for this season just because of the sheer amount of stuff we have. I also have to go through Eververse, which I will the first the first uh, challenges video. I usually uh, actually fuck it. We'll do it in the same video just because challenges is not too much for the stuff that Eververse is selling for Bright Dust. We have a shader, which ooh that color is cool. I don't like the cloth color, but that gold and like ooh okay. I mean obviously I'm getting it dope we have pyramid entrance which is pretty cool yeah we have disallowed banner which is just a stop 
We have Dawn of Invention, which is like a caveman one, I'm assuming. And I don't know why it kicked me out. And then we go all the way down here and we get to see the ornaments from last season are up, which is super, super dope. I'm really excited. I'll have the Titan one here and here, or the Warlock Titan and Warlock one up here so you guys can see which ones they're selling. But I am happy that they're selling these because this specifically, this one, Valhund, this is the one I wanted and I was thinking about buying it, but I was like, ah, fuck it, I'll wait for it when it gets, when they sell it. And thankfully they're selling it. Uh, the Endless Appetite for Parasite, which is pretty cool. I probably, I'm, I'm not going to get it. I don't know. Say, Gigantis Carrier or Gigantis, which looks whatever's. We have the Lion Garden Shell, which I didn't even know I had. To be fair, this is from Season of the Undying, so that makes sense. We have Kofor Correction. Yeah. We have Bug Catching. Yeah. As for the shaders, we have Tide Smoke, which is a really cool shader. Just be aware that it does have some weird textures with certain armor pieces, but it definitely is a really cool shader from Season of the Haunted as well, so I would suggest picking this up. For the next shader, we have Trinity, which is it's weird because like on some armor pieces i actually like it and some i don't so there is that jungle viper which is not a good one for me personally but it is from season of uh season of the undying so i mean there is that and then Verd vertigris which is a pretty cool teal i personally will not use it much but i still have it just in case and this is from joker's wild which is season of the drifter so this is an old one as for the stuff that Eververse is selling this season, we have Season of the Seraph Starter Pack, which is just a ghost ship and a sparrow, plus some uh, Synthweave templates, three in total. Don't wait, don't spend it all in one place. You have the 10 rank bundle, which is just get 10 ranks in the season pass, which is kind of useless to me. The Arc Adornment Hunter Bundle, we will go through the Titan and Warlock um, after we're done looking at the Hunter because they also do have their own sets. So for the Hunter, we have this, which not gonna lie, it looks actually pretty cool. The only unfortunate thing is there's not a lot of glows in this, uh, specifically to combine with like our other arc specific stuff. Um, I'm thinking more so like the solstice stuff. Uh, aside from maybe the helmet, I think the helmet's gonna be the best piece. And I'm also hoping this is weird because I usually don't like this, but I'm hoping that some of the blue in this doesn't change color so that way it's easier to combine with to make an arc specific set um i'll explain it more when we look at the titan but yeah well you'll you'll see what i mean we have the hunter stuff so i again am not the biggest fan of this armor set um looking at it as a whole it just looks kind of not boring i should i don't want to say boring because the helmet looks amazing the cloak looks pretty cool uh i definitely am excited to get the cloak but that's really it. I think the chest piece is also very serviceable, but the boots are pretty, pretty boring. Like, um, I don't think this was the right choice to go some asymmetrical with the boots. I think the boots should have been symmetrical um, because why would you not wear the same armor in the same boots? I think the feet, specifically the, the shoes look very boring very boring not a fan um i want to see if the skirt is part of the boots or i think the skirt might be part of the actual boots itself if that's the case then i'm actually gonna like the boot uh the chest piece a lot more the arms i'm gonna be real with you probably the most disappointing piece from the whole set it looks very boring in my opinion but yeah the best pieces are gonna be the helmet and the cloak for sure People are definitely going to be using this this helmet a lot. Definitely me. I'm definitely going to be using this helmet a lot. Um, but yeah, and I it, this is where it's funny because I don't know which armor set they're going to sell unless they sell both of them, which is really weird. Uh, we've never seen them do that. I mean, we've never seen them give two armor sets in one season for Eververse, but I mean, here we are. <clears throat> I can I can't see them making the the Assassin's Creed stuff paid because it's just more expensive that's 60 dollars for all the classes so unfortunately if you play all the classes and you want you know it, it i'm going to talk about it in the video because i do want to talk about this because 
either way, it's like it's either 60 bucks or 45 bucks. Um, if they do the cheaper one, I probably would appreciate that, but it's still like 45 bucks for all of the armor. Uh, and I know people are going to come in defending and be like, oh, well, you don't have to pick up all the armor, even though you play all the classes. Uh -huh. Like, I, I hate that people defend that. We have tools of the trade bundle, which is just the Assassin's Creed stuff, which we'll, we will look at. We have the Arc Day Triumph bundle, which is, again, Arc stuff. We have a lot of ships and sparrows and ghosts that could just be in the fucking game. Like, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't want to be really negative, but I just think this is ridiculous personally um text mechanica stuff which is from previous season season of dawn specifically i don't know why they're reselling it oh well it's because it's okay whatever uh, i'm not gonna look i'm not gonna look at that no i don't want to purchase that then we have up my sleeve which is the assassin's creed specific finisher which is pretty cool i am on the fence on this because i don't know if i want to pick it up or not the axed question which is just an axe we have resonant judge or lunge which is just that chalice overflowing which you just throw a chalice in someone's face we have the omni oculus mask so you get a fucking mask for omni oculus and it actually seems like it takes off the the hood which is really weird so i this might be the first time i pick up uh one of these armors which is really weird because I usually hate these um, because I think they should be in game because I already think Bungie already makes in more than enough money. But I know people are going to be like, but Bungie's the independent company, huh? but they're, but they're an indie company. <laughs> uh, we have 8000er, which is such a cool ornament. This ornament looks super, super cool. Very excited for this. Hopefully they'll be dropping it because I do want to pick it up and make like uh, like an ice climber type feel, which is probably what they were going for. We have an ornament for, I don't, what is it called? Renewal Grasps, which is funny because I just made a video on it. If you guys want to see, it's right here. But we'll see. I mean, I mean, obviously we're going to make a, an ornament review for these two. And then a specific, mm, no, actually that, yeah. Just an ornament review video for these two right here. And then we have the weapons, which I'm not going to look at because some of these are kind of like boring, if I'm being quite honest. So... As for the Titans, we have the Arc Armor, which actually looks pretty decent. I was expecting this to not look that cool, but I think the helmet looks super dope. I think the chest piece, I'm probably not going to use the chest piece or the arms just because they are a little asymmetric, asymmetrical. The cloak is uh, extremely boring, um, actually very boring, but it's whatever. I was expecting the, the mark to be boring. The boots, I think, is the best piece from the whole set. I mean, obviously, the, the symmetrical of it really helps it but i think the boots the helmet and even the mark to a certain extent are probably the best pieces from this again i think the asymmetry just really doesn't work for me anymore like ever actually so the chest piece while i could use it i probably won't use it and the arms i definitely won't use them the this however looks fucking phenomenal this looks amazing i will most likely be skipping out on the chest piece just because it's connected to a, a shield. I'm not really a particular fan of pieces that have uh, shields and shit in the back, specifically like backpacks and whatnot. I'm not a big fan of that. But the helmet, amazing. Arms, amazing. Boots, amazing. Even the fucking mark is cool as fuck. So I, I definitely think the Titans won this because it just looks amazing. I'm really excited to use the arms because then I can use it with other fur related items. Uh, I'm like to the point where I'm tempted to just buy this bitch outright. Like, look at this. They even have a fucking bro. They have an assassin's thing. The, the blade, they have one, bro. But yeah, hunters can't have one because obviously they're not the rogues of this game. Titans and warlocks are because they got the most assassin's creed stuff in their shit, which I'm going to make a rant about that soon because I'm, I'm just really, really mad about it. Um, so we already looked at this prepare yourselves guys because they made this ornament they made a helmet for this ornament and honestly at this point i don't even know if i'm gonna have money this 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 month because i actually might get this one as well this is like one of my favorite ornaments for the falling star it's super cool and the fact that they made this helmet i'm just kind of like man y'all are assholes because now i have to get this this is, good. this is gonna mark the first time I actually pick up 
of the exotic ornament things which pisses me off a little because i again i'd much rather see this shit in game but i mean what the fuck ever and then we have this ornament and i gotta say i want this armor like immediately like it's for dune marchers bro my only hope is that it shaders well if it doesn't shader well i'm gonna i'm gonna be kind of mad but tell me that shit don't look good though bro. i am excited to make some of the armor sets for this we also have another um hive themed stuff uh chess piece which is pretty cool definitely gonna make a really cool set with this but yeah titans let me know what you guys think y'all y'all got some really good fucking pieces bro like the assassin's creed armor alone makes me just want to like tell you guys that you guys want because you it looks so fucking good as for the warlocks we're gonna be looking at the arc stuff first which i think the chess piece is the best piece it actually looks pretty cool um i definitely think the helmet is man dude let me tell you that helmet looks fucking terrible um I'm not a fan of the horn, like the the whole like spike thing. I think it looks pretty. I think it's overused, if I'm being quite honest. Like we always see someone have that type of shit. And I'm like, do something else. Like do like y'all couldn't really have made like. Oh, man, dude, I don't want to talk about it. Well, let's look at the helmet specifically. So I would have liked it if instead of this horn thing, uh, the the sides of the, the helmet right here, just like extend it out and then became like exhaust for like electricity that would have been way cooler but instead we got another horn the bond is i personally hate it it looks kind of bad again this is all like my taste and opinion so if you guys like it let me know in the comments below the boots i can't even see the boots um they look kind of boring bro i mean aesthetically they look cool when you compare it to the armor set it comes with it just looks very boring they should there should have been some cracks in the armor to signify oh this is part of the arc set, uh, set. and the arms are also kind of like whatever's i think the i think they should have had more oh, actually there's some electricity coming through all right never mind i think it's fine i don't know i think the chest piece is like the best part but like that's like 80 percent of the whole armor so yeah well, like some of what you guys think as for the assassin's creed look ah oh man for females it doesn't look good i'm gonna be real with you guys um damn dude i'm kind of tempted to just skip this outright i mean the chest piece is probably the only cool piece from the whole set the arms are decent the boots are boring the helmet ah, i can probably fuck around with the helmet the bond i'm definitely gonna i'm gonna skip because i just don't think it looks good but yeah um again i'm wondering which one they're gonna give us for the free one and then unless both of them are free but, but at that point it's gonna be expensive because like just one of these armors is what 1200 bright dust uh if they cut the price down to 600 for both i mean that would equal out we'll still get more armor in the in the long run but i mean that would be good for us players to get more armor in the long run i don't know we'll see they're not going to do it. They're probably going to be like, this armor is for the bright dust. And then this armor is, you have to pay for this armor. For the exotic ornament, we're getting Storm Dancer's cover, which does not look good in my opinion. Like, it really does not look good. Like, to be fair, I don't remember Storm Dancer's Embrace. That, uh, let's, let's see it. Let's see it real quick before I start talking shit. Because I don't remember it off the top of my head is it storm dancers brace that was embrace um fuck it we'll put it on just to see but i'm gonna be real with you guys i'm not expecting anything crazy unless it like opens up then it'll be like oh fuck okay never mind uh but even then storm dancers brace i'm not a fan of it aesthetically it just kind of looks it looks all like it's all over the place for me you get a slight electrical look to it which I think the back, I think if this, oh my God, if that, that shit was in here, that would be way better. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Some person might like that. I'm definitely not one of those people. For the ornaments, we have an ornament for um, uh, Osm Osmiomancy Glove, which 
I think they look a little too close to the Osmiomancy, specifically the whole spike thing right here. I think that's a little too close to the actual look of it. The the frozen look of it looks super dope. I think that looks super cool. I just think uh I just think the spike would have been better if it was like either made out of stasis or there is more of it. I don't know. It's fine. Like it looks cool. I'm just saying my thoughts on it. And then actually let me switch so you guys can see better. This one? No, this one. Let's do this one because I feel like no, that's not what I meant. This one right here is because it it'll you'll notice it more. Right here. So this looks super cool. I will definitely try to pick this up if it goes for bright dust. If not, then I'll just wait until next season. But it does look super cool if it retains the glow and you can actually change the glow. That'd be really, really cool. But I think this is going to be the ornament that that uh, Warlocks are going to be trying to be getting because this is super cool. So Warlocks, let me know what you guys think. I definitely think you guys missed out on a really cool helmet ornament because this one's not that great, in my opinion. Um, Y'all could have had something way better for an exotic specifically, like maybe. Maybe. Ooh, Wings of Sacred Dawn would have been super cool to see as a helmet ornament. Or, it, to be fair, you guys don't have a lot of good chess pieces. Because uh, I do know you have a mantle of battle harmony for the bond. So I think Star Starfire Protocol would have been a good good helmet ornament to introduce. And then in, um, change how it shaders. I think that would have been good. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, that's pretty much it for Eververse. Still not sure if I'm going to make a separate video for Eververse because I forgot that we had to go through all of this shit for all the classes. Oh, by the way, let's see. Grasp of the Void? You, you already know, bro. And for Titans, let's go actually see what you guys got. And for Titans, it's Sainted Visage. I will skip this. I'm not a fan of Sainted Visage. I don't think it's a good ornament. I mean, personally, I don't like it just because eh, it's it's cool. I just don't think it's cool enough to like get it for bright dust. So Titans, if you guys want it, it's more than, I mean, you, you can get it. I mean, you get it right now. I highly do suggest it. It's just for me, I don't want it. Um, this one, however, I will probably be picking up and the other one for the hunters. My God, we got a lot of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we didn't get any new exotics, but yeah, let me know what you guys think. Yeah. And then for the season pass, that's not the season pass. This is the season pass. We have the Manticore, the submachine gun for this season, which looks super fucking cool. We're going to meet be reviewing this hopefully this week. I do want to I do want to make more weapon reviews because I do miss doing them. But for the six uh, rank, we get a shader, a black and green one. Yo, why does this look good, though? OK, I'm excited for the shader now. The shader does look good and it actually takes the helmet actually takes it really well. It's taking the same color as the as the arms, which is really, really rare. I'm interesting. We get stylish draw. Ooh, I don't like that. Mm, I do not like that at all. It's mm, oh, I'm not I'm not gonna use that at all. We have Seraph Reboot Entrance. Yeah, whatever. Uh, nothing much here. We have Sparrow. Which looks pretty cool. Like, I mean, as cool as this can be. We'll also be going through the shaders just if you guys are interested, because I am actually interested. So this is, that's weird. This is Suros, but it's a, it's a, okay, okay. We have another shader. We have the exotic at 35. Let's see the shader. Kara Car 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 Black. Uh, I think this is like this is not a bad shader. I think I would have to see it with other with other stuff though, but it's not bad. We have the ghost. This looks weird. Not bad, just weird. We have the glaive, which. I still don't know how I feel about us getting a glaive instead of literally any other weapon, but we'll see. What is it? But fire? Okay. Um, where? Oh, the, the armor. Warmind's avatar. Well, obviously we were going to be reviewing the armor as well. 
uh, whenever I get the armor. We get the first piece of the ornaments, which is at 64 usually, which is completely fine. That's where we usually see it. Um, this, so I'm gonna be real with you guys. I think the cloak is terrible. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I think it's this part right here, the, the neck. I don't like it. Other than that, everything looks pretty fine. More stuff. The helmet. Oh, that's not the helmet. But... Dude, as long as this, as the green, like as long as everything changes color, I'm actually pretty okay with the armor. And the helmet, I think looks pretty cool. Yeah. If this green changes, like I, like I said, if the, if the green changes color, that's all I really care about because this glow looks super fucking cool. So hopefully it changes color. If it doesn't, I'm going to be mad. Tripwire dodge. Okay. Stupid. And then the ornament for the damn that actually looks pretty sick so that's pretty much it let me know which, oh wait hold on let's look at the shaders real quick i do apologize this is a long video but i'd rather do this in, in one video than cut it up in multiple because you really don't need to make multiple multiple videos for this type of stuff just one big fat video like this got that one all right seraphim glow cloak we just saw which i still fucking this shader looks so good i'm gonna I'm rock this this season yeah, I already saw that one. Empirical and em, empirical imperative. You know, I've seen worse. I like the blue. That blue is really nice. That yellow is pretty terrible, though. We'll see. I think it's the armor itself that I'm wearing that just doesn't look good with it. Sinking feeling. Ooh, I actually don't hate this. Okay, okay. For cloth, it looks terrible. So that means I'm going to use this on a Titan because on plate armor, it looks fire. So. This might be a Titan shader. Uh, growing guilt. Ooh, I hate that shader. Uh, activity shaders. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. Ooh. Oh, it's too bright. Combative tonight to major. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, hope I'm hoping. No, I don't know, man. Like the cloth on the belt looks really cool. But that silver is pretty rush, pretty, uh, pretty harsh. Iron counter counter shade. Ooh, what is it, dude? What is up with the really harsh like? All right, so this looks terrible. It lo almost looks like. Wait a minute. Is that chainmail? If it turns cloth chainmail, then that's a little weird. Mm, I'll reserve my judgment for this. We'll, I'll, I'll wait and see until we get the shader, but that looks like chainmail. Um, so, no, that's not it. What is this? Oh, this is the Gambit one. Okay. I don't think this looks terrible. I think, I think the clock, the, 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 this does look terrible, but like everything but this color looks really pretty good. Interesting. And then I'm guessing no shader for the for the dungeon. This actually might be a good Vanguard shader. I'll wait and see until I can get better armor for it. Or I could nah, it's fine, it's fine. Because I will be making a video for all the playlist shaders since I didn't do it the last season. And I had a few people that asked me to do it. That's pretty much it. Okay. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm actually pretty pumped for this season. Uh the sheer amount of stuff that we'll be getting looks pretty cool we have a bunch of stuff to look at like actually though like a lot of stuff also we'll try to get some of this armor for all the classes <sighs> but this armor right here bro this armor right here is gonna look so sick in the game i cannot wait i know i'm gonna be gushing about the 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 shit the whole fucking video because i this armor is like one of my favorite armors from d1 Oh my god, it looks so much better than that. Ooh, this one with the helmet from the Raptor set might look pretty cool. Like, I'm already coming coming up with ideas. Like, this helmet, I already have an idea for this. For, for a Viking look. But, yeah, I'm really excited. As you guys can probably tell. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below if you guys want to follow me. Okay, links are in the description below. I thank you all. And I'll see you guys later.